Okay, so somebody wanted to update on what my battery situation was. These are uh, PowerSonic, I think they're 100 amp hour, 12 volt batteries. Uh, they go for about 500 each, and I did not pay that much for them. Uh, I think there might be some online places that sell them at 250 each, but then they, uh, they, they have kind of a high shipping charge. So they're hooked up in parallel, and then there's heavy cables coming off of both ends because of the way the cables came for my inverter. And, and what it is is two, two sets of feeds for the inverter. And I did not pay retail for those batteries. I actually paid 80 bucks each because they were surplused out of a hospital that keeps them for their um, hospital operating room stuff. So that, that's the situation with those batteries. The, there's a more popular video up that showed two batteries operating the system and that wasn't quite holding on to running everything. Okay, so with all the lights on and everything, it wasn't quite doing it. For these batteries, everything works and everything seems to work indefinitely, which means the battery storage is sufficient to deal with the situation regardless of the, um, you know, maybe getting an overcast day or, or the... Uh, you know, it's it's reached that balance point between the battery usage, power generation off the solar, and how how much stuff I use on a regular basis. The thing is, uh, the way this trailer is set up, I've I've actually never lived in it, so I uh, I kind of use it as a temporary construction office, and and that's it right now. And uh, so the bed areas is a couch. It's, it, I, I never finish it. Okay, I, I use the desk mainly here. And so, um, and the fridge got removed a while back. Uh, so it's just a storage area. This looks worse than it is because it used to drip down and then I use that filler stuff here. Um, that's the inverter. The inverter is pretty big. It, it goes into this whole cabinet area. The other thing is because the cooling fan on that goes kind of constantly it actually is pretty good for circulating the air and kind of drying out and airing everything out here but this stuff needs to kind of get cut up and redone uh, one of the reasons I'm, I'm not going to get into camper trailer restorations anymore I, I just want to build stuff raw uh, build, build it from raw materials or, or you know lumber and stuff uh, I don't think it's cost effective to rebuild campers to be honest with you it's uh, uh, it, it's too much of a hassle. You suck up a lot of materials, and there's almost no resale value in the situation where you're done. It, it is good for uh, practicing, like like I hadn't done linoleum counters for shit 20 years, 30 years. I, I did them in high school, and that was it. So for practicing the woodwork and the handyman stuff, yeah, practicing cabinet construction, which I hadn't done for a very long time before I, I did all these new cabinet doors. Um, it's good for practicing that stuff, but there's, there's very little resale value here. There's very little accumulated value. If you're not building it and liking it to own it, you, it's not really the investment, okay? Um, and I was just having this discussion with a real estate broker who wants to figure out how she can make money in the tumbleweed house situation because they're thinking that the most ready buyers are people that want to buy them and run them out to people and I'm thinking well that may not work it's you know when we're talking about micro house type stuff uh, you know it's kind of like the food car trailer world it's it's uh owner occupy situation okay so you know this, this is for somebody who wants to have an independent off-grid lifestyle as soon as it becomes a rental property i i think it's kind of asking for problems i i wouldn't rent this out to somebody at a profit um i i don't i don't think that's going to work i think it's kind of getting into slum lording and uh it's possible that we can make some kind of a neat little community out of the tiny house type stuff, granny unit type stuff. But these little off-grid trailer things, uh, to use something like this as a profit center rental, I, you know, it, it's not, not, not the way it would roll. Okay, I, I, I don't want everything to be slumlording shanty town stuff. I mean, it could be comfortable for somebody who doesn't have a whole lot of choices, but. I, I don't 
think I want to promote it commercially like this. I, I think brand new construction on some sort of an owner occupy condo type arrangement is the way to go. So as far as the electrical system, yes, I did eventually upgrade to a more powerful battery system. I upgraded to a better charge controller. This is that net meter solar one. The only reason you won't see it at a lot of retailers is because it's so easy to buy them from the company that sells them. Uh, I sell these locally on Craigslist for a hundred bucks, and then I, uh, uh, if somebody starts asking me too many questions, I, I just tell them where to go online and buy it. I'm not, I'm not going to screw around. If they're going to begrudge me twenty dollars profit, I sell them for a hundred. There's seventy nine bucks online. If somebody's going to begrudge me uh, uh, the twenty bucks, I, I'm not going to waste my time with it. And if somebody wants to know how to hook it up or what it's good for I, I tell them go see the videos if you if it's worth 20 points to me to just to get one and come over say hi shake hands and buy a charge controller great but uh, um, that's the only reason you're gonna not gonna see these in a lot of retail establishment is because of the way they sell these online it's it's not there's, there is not a problem with the quality on these uh, it's got a lot of neat little things on a readout. It'll tell you the full status of the power system. It is not MPPT, it's a PWM, but that's part of what keeps the cost down. And then I use these, uh, I can't remember if these are six or eight gauge cables coming out of it that go to the various things like the battery and the inner and the outer and the panels and all that kind of stuff.